Hi guys, welcome to Rootstem. Right, um, I'm doing a video today just showing people how to use airbrushes to be able to paint in parts on figures. I've had a couple of my friends asking me how I do it um, because they are struggling with the 28mm figures. Now sometimes with 28mm figures I will assemble them fully and sometimes I won't. I will actually part, build and then spray paint. Because I'm wanting this lovely orange, now you can see on here which is airbrushed apart from on the legs um i'm actually part building these dire avengers these are part of a commission that i'm currently doing um so i'm actually part building everything up in stages so first off i've got the guy's legs now they're on bases they've been bit the actual base has been based itself i've added the equipment pouch and then if you can see there i've added some tack of blue onto the actual recess holes where your glue is going to be going. This is because I'm going to be, when I'm using, because I'm going to be using polystyrene cement, so I'm going to be using proper plastic glue. It won't bond if there's paint between it, of course, because it melts the plastic a little bit. Putting that blue tech on allows me to keep that plastic area clear. And then once um, you know I've painted the actual area, I take the blue tack off. That will keep the plastic area untouched. Two of the plastic areas can attach, and of course it can glue properly. Um, the Dire Avengers come with this down the back. So all of these are separate. They've been put, if you can see, on a, uh, a stick. I'm actually using cocktail sticks. Now what I do for this, I drill a tiny hole into the plastic using my trusty drill bit. This is an old Citadel one. A very very fine nozzle now i've never changed this this is still the same one and it's still quite sharp as when i actually first got it uh, i drill a bit in and then i put a cocktail stick through it i used to use metal sticks but when i found it very difficult to get them off the metal sticks because i actually super glue it put a tiny tiny bit a very very small amount of super glue on the stick and then put it on this is to stop it from coming off and then if i do need to snap it off i can do and I'm not really worried about it because you can file it down afterwards. You can scrape a bit of it out, making sure the pure plastic's still on there. Because if you can see, I've got my uh, I've got my blue tech on still to make sure that it can affix to the actual model. Um, I've done the same with the bodies. The bodies are separate. I've constructed the body, and I've got the little antennae bit at the back. So the bodies are completely constructed. I've done tried to remove as much mold line as I can, and of course I'm trying to fill the gaps with some green stuff which is still drying. Again, they're on cocktail sticks, so all the bodies are separate, and again, I've got a double blue tack inside there to stop the, um, to allow me to be able to attach the head properly. I've not done it with the arms, because I'm going to attach the arms by super glue, and the reason I'm going to attach the arms by super glue is this is the second squad of these that I built up and did. The first squad I tried to attach by polystyrene cement, and the way you have to attach the arms it was so awkward and fiddly, it just went everywhere and caused me to repaint little bits of it. So to try and stop that from happening, I'm just I found it a hell of a lot easier with these guys just doing a dab of super glue. Right, so what you do, what I do anyway, when I'm actually doing the airbrush, I have a look what majority colour is going to be. So on this, I know that the sash, even though there's a part of the butt cheek there, I know the sash is going to be orange. So I actually paint it. I will spray everything black, even though orange is a bright colour, this whole entire thing is actually done with a black undercoat. So everything gets sprayed black. Uh, the legs, the majority of the legs are black with armour panels. Now, I've actually done that with, um, that's been done layering. So I've done that with a wet palette. So actually that gets done manually, still using the same colours as I'm going to use on the airbrush. But it gets done manually and of course just puts over in, in small, you just put your base coat on. Several coats of your base coat to cover up, cover up the black and then just keep layering and layering until you get your desired transition effect. Um, takes a little while on the legs but it's worth it to be honest with you. Because on the bodies, once the sprayed black I kind of just blast them with the, uh, the colours, the orange to the yellow. And then I can just paint a little bit of black on the body. And then the heads are the heads are currently actually still on the sprue, and so are the arms, because to make sure that I don't lose them. So they're still connected, and uh, of course, what I'll do when I actually do this bit, when I do this part for the arms, I stick two cocktail sticks in from the sides, 
and then because some of these are a part four and then on the other side you'll have a part four i'll put both fours together so that i know that them two will fit on a model when it comes to actually sticking it together very important when you do that especially if you're painting and building imperial guard because they are very very specific so we've got them all based black um these i've had to hand paint black because i ran out of black spray paint and i want to crack on with the the actual painting of these so i'll get i, I can't get some black spray paint at the moment i will get some later um the bases of all all this guys have been painted black the blue tack is still on we're going to start with the legs and the legs are going to be if we can actually bring in the proper models as you can see the legs are already they're just kind of like the knee and the shin pads they're the bits that's orange so we need to highlight these now i do this in two stages with this black um it's quite a dark one so i actually use my arms across the camera black gray from model color Valerio. i think this is quite an old one actually as well and it's still going strong and I then use um, it's Dark Reaper from Games Workshop. And I just basically just spray those over, give it a nice highlight, give it a bit of a dry brush. And then we'll come into the hand painting. These are going to be done from the orange to the yellow. And it's the same with them. They'll be done orange to yellow. Then I hand paint all the little accessory pieces. Um, so we'll do this in stages. There you go. If we move all the bodies out of the way. Let's get the legs done first. Next step is going to be me uh, just putting some wet palette to a good use. We're going to go from Toast Layer Orange to Uriel Yellow. Toast Layer Orange is going to go on a couple of times in layers because, of course, it's a dark colour. Normally, you're going to have to put two to three layers on for this. Uh, just make sure that your paint's nice and thin so it goes on smooth. And then, gradually, we're going to be adding the Uriel Yellow and then adding it. But we're going to add it more like a glaze each time. And that should give it a better transition to match the airbrush transitions we're going to be doing on the body and the helmets later. So we've glazed that up, just gone from the orange to the yellow. Uh, I'm now going to paint the rest of this lot in. The majority of this lot tends to be painted in a bone and a gold. And then, of course, just covered in Agraf's earth shade. So let's crack on.
So I skipped ahead a bit and done the red bits uh, there just effectively. Uh, Evil Sun Scarlet with Caraberg Crimson over the top and then Evil Sun Scarlet again. Oh, oh focus, come on. There we go. Um, so they're nothing really, really clever. Uh, quite simple to do. Uh, and then, of course, a little white dot. I'm going to do the base now. So we're going to start off with Rhinox Hide all over the basin. Base completed, I've added a layer of varnish and then of course taken the blue tack pieces out. That is now bare plastic so that when we do the bodies and we do the bottoms, which of course I've got the uh, thing on there, should stick to them straight away using the plastic glue. I am going to put some grass on the base as well and as you can see on that particular base I've added a skull. I just need to finish that off and then we can move on to the next part. Right, okay, so legs pretty much done. Just need to glue. I've done the uh, the bases, but we're going to get some bases later on. Now we're going to hit the bodies and we're going to hit the sashes. And we're going to hit this with blazing orange, not blazing orange, <laughs> might be old school blazing orange, troll slayer orange, and it's just thinned down. And then I'm going to hit it with a yellow to create the highlight later. Next up, the one with the banner. I'm going to hit it up with your, your yellow. Um, basically, do the same thing as I've already done on the completed figures. Where, as you can see, where the yellow goes from. And yeah, so on the tips of the shoulders, into the centre, maybe a little bit on the back, and then across the banner. Right, let's crack on. Remember with any colour like that, it will actually, once it starts to dry properly, it will die down. So it's never going to be that intense. So we sprayed some of these up, getting that lovely yellow going with the orange. I'm going to hit and just paint up some of the areas. We've got the Shabti Buck, Talan Sand and Shabti Bone out already. 
Uh, so any of the butts uh, is going to be painted up black to match up with the black trousers. There you go. And of course we've got the blue tack ready uh, for us to be able to peel that off so that these two components can stick together. There's no blue tack on the underneath of this, but I do, once I've cut that off, I do trim that and sort of like file it a bit. Yeah, it looks like I've been smoking 30 a day. Um, I do file that a bit and that allows us then to be able to, because that will expose the plastic, allowing us to be able to stick it into the legs. Let's go. So as you can see, I'm now painting the head with the same orange and yellow combination that we did on the body. Right, so we've got the arms and we've got them in the Come At Me Bro poses. It was super gluing them on actually, rather than plastic gluing these. Um, so I've airbrushed the faces, the helmets. I'm going for the orange to the yellow. Uh, we'll be adding more detail to them. The same details that we added on the previous two, the legs, the body. It's just going to be something, you know, stuff like um, just gems. There'll be some black on there, which we'll dry brush with, dry, um, with Dark Reaper. But the weapons, we're going to be doing first in Talan Sand. And then I'll pick out the details in Yusheb Tibor. And then we cover the whole thing in Seraphim Sepia. Now we've got your shabty bone, just going to hit it into spots, just to try and give it a highlight before covering the whole entire thing uh, with Seraphim Sepia. So we've progressed quite a bit forward, just doing the uh, the bone. Uh, the bone has been highlighted now, as you can see with the seraphim sepia. I did put a varnish on first before doing. Let's make it uh, run easier, and it's been an all-over wash. Um, the helmets have been done. I've done the black, the red. I've even painted the face white and got some green eyes in there. Again, just following simple patterns that we've already done, and of course the long, lovely spear. Uh, now this time I've not activated that, if you ever look on this one, there's another two squads of these, that one's actually got a uh, highlight on there, which was achieved by doing a really light, I think it's lovely and blue, uh, and then of course just running a little tiny bit of watered down Gullum and Glaze. The blades I've tried to keep all different, so that one's a highlighted green, there is another third one, and this one I've kept more of a metal, this one is actually Gullum and Glaze, and then I've put... Um, I've put Corellia green shade over the top. My elbow and my arm, it's all in the frame. Um, so that's now I'm going to be breaking these off the sticks. I'm going to be filing down that little nubbin underneath the head helmet 
and we're going to be attaching them to our bodies. And there we have some of the completed figures. Oops. Um, again, just following the basics. Is that in focus? Oh, not really focus. Again, just following the basics regarding painting your, uh, you know, just your, your whites and your, your reds. Um, the airbrush is fantastic for when it comes to the mass majority, but again, for the legs, you need to make sure that you're just blending normally. You will get a bit of a disparity. You can't exactly replicate, but thankfully the legs are not something people tend to focus on too much. It's mainly the upper body. If you've got Marines, it's even easier because majority of your armour will be something like your, your airbrush. Uh, with these, it's a little bit more tricky. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I'm hoping you're liking the figures. Please uh, like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification button if you do like what you see and you want to see more. Um... If you're wanting to inquire about commissions, if you go over to my website, that's rootstem.co.uk, you can send me a message off there, or you can even actually buy some sets. Uh, they have not already painted. I will actually paint them up as soon as you buy them. But you can actually get some sets from there, and they will then allow, you know, basically just tell me that that's what you're after. Some simple basic starter sets, that's what you're after, and I can get that painted up for you. But uh, be aware, it can take up to six weeks. Right, thank you very much guys, we'll see you next time.